Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to edit the cast box for the q and view Print Speaking to the Blind service from raw files to uh, to the finished article. Now, this video is, as I say, is only if you're working from the raw files. If you're uh, processing the daily articles into the cast boxes every single day, then there is another video to show you how to do that. Um, but let's get started. So. Um, there is a template built for building the cast box. Um, it should be in the Q and Review Dropbox, but uh, I have it saved to my local drive. Um, so go to My Documents, go to Q and Review, and we'll go to Templates and copy this template into a new location. Okay, and I'm going to rename it with the date of the cast box. Um, I like to name it on the date that the cast box is going to be uploaded, which will be tomorrow. It's twenty third. Uh, sorry, twenty fifth is tomorrow, and I'm working on the Glasgow Times cast box. So whichever paper you're working on, you can name the cast box. You can have one project for each paper. So we're going to call this GT Glasgow Times cast box. And if we go in here, you can see here's all the resources that you need. Now let's open up the template. Okay, now we need to import the files into the project. You'll need to source the files for the cast box from the, the Dropbox folder. Go to Dropbox, um, Q and Review, uh, into Articles. Um, whichever paper you're working on, um, based on the schedule that's drawn up, you should know who's recording what on which day. So to speed things up, I've already been into the Dropbox and I've extracted all the, the files for each day from each reader. So I've organized it into a fo into folders here. So what I'm going to do is go back to my, sorry, go back to my working folder. Uh, and in resources, I'm going to paste these folders. So copy and paste. Now what I need to do is import these files into the project. So at the bottom here you'll see there's a track that says import below. I'm going to create a folder for each day just to um, to, to, to keep the, the, the project organized. And if you look at the, the whole project, um, you can see that each section, uh, e you know, each day has its own section. So, and it's divided up into, the cast box can be between an hour and a half and two hours long. And this, I think this whole thing is two hours long here. Yep, there's our time there, two hours. And it's divided up into 24 minute sections. These are not hard and fast uh, divisions here. They can be flexible around it, but it gives us a guideline as to, you know, how much for each day so that's all balanced out. So if we go to the bottom track here, and if we double click in the empty space, creates a new track and we're going to drag that into import below. So if we just, if you click and you drag it, you see the little blue line indents on the left hand side there. That means that this folder is now inside this parent folder here. Now I'm going to call this Monday. Monday. Now if you make sure that this folder is selected, I'm going to zoom in to the start here. And I'm going to hit the 7 key, or I can just click at the top there. But if I hit the numerical 7, that means my cursor will jump to 7. Um, it just keeps things nice and organized. In fact, I'll just put it to 6. It doesn't really matter. Um, click on this bottom track, and then we hit Insert. Now, if we browse to our folders, um, our, our files for Monday. So this is my working folder again. Go to resources, go to Monday. Here are all my raw files. So I'm going to click and then shift click to the last one and open. I want to put them all in separate tracks. And this um, button here, this uh, shortcut, the insert shortcut, will automatically import all the files and it will normalize them as well. So you can see it's starting to normalize them here, which means that all the files are being evened out in terms of level so that the, the, the post-processing that's inserted into the template should all respond correctly to the, um, to the input levels that it's receiving. So these are the files for that we've imp just imported. Now I want to make sure that they are inside the Monday folder. So if I click on the first one, click on the last one, 
and drag it up so that it indents again. That means that they're inside the Monday folder. So you see, I can compact the folder like this. Now, I'll leave the other files for now, um, for the other days, and just work on the Monday files. So if you scroll back up again, you can see that um, in the project we have, let me just, I'm going to mute this folder so we don't hear these being played back. Okay, so based on whichever paper you're working on, the intro sections, uh, the intro dialogue is all here. So at the moment we're listening to the Glasgow Times. I can mute that and we can have the Herald intro or the National. And the same thing applies for the outros as well. If I zoom right out of the project and then right to the end here, you can see this is the same for the outros. So if we were using the Glasgow Times and so on and so forth for the Heather, the Herald and the National. Okay, now um, if you've watched the previous videos, you'll know about the, the shortcuts that are in place to help you navigate. Um, I'll just quickly go through them again. So you can zoom the entire project by hitting zoom horizontal. And if you want to compact uh, all the files down so you can see what's happening vertically, you can zoom vertical. It helps to um, make it easier to navigate around the project. Um, Similarly, for um, working, editing on each track, individual tracks, you can expand the track up and down by clicking Zoom Track. See? So now that we've got um, our files from Monday in here, we just need to insert them into the cast box. So at the end of the intro section, which is here, if we go up here. Okay, so our first our newspaper article will start on Monday. And I'm just going to take the first article that I find, um, which I think is probably Bill, who's the reader for this. Um, let me select each of these and mute them so we don't hear them all. I just want to listen to Bill at the moment. I'm going to expand that track. Okay, now, so we need to move that to the right place. Um, at the moment, you can see all the grid lines being displayed in the edit window. I want to get rid of that because it's just confusing. So if we go up here and click on grid lines, they all disappear. Now let's drag Bill's um, Bill's uh, track up into the right place. So we'll call Bill Reader 1. Now if we click on that and we drag it up to Reader 1, and then so long as the snap is enabled, if we drag, it will snap to the marker here. Now, we need to tidy up the intro and the outro of this file because there's a big gap at the you know the start and the end. So let's expand that track, zoom track, zoom track, there we go. And we're going to chop it just right tight at the start of where Bill starts speaking. And if we, you can either use the shortcut, which is S for split, yeah, just wherever the cursor is, click on there, hit S, or you can use the split key over here that I've created. So split, same thing. Now I'm going to delete what we don't need. Now, if the ripple is enabled, if I hit delete, the the um uh, the file will jump forward to the to the marker here. Now if I do that again, and ripple is not enabled, it will stay in the same place. And won't move. Now this is handy if we've done lots of edits um, and we've got lots of files all following on, to each, on from each other but we want to suddenly do an edit in the middle here for example if I discover there's a mistake here and I want to take this out so let's say I want to take this silence out so I'm going to split that and I'm going to split that and I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to delete it if the ripple is enabled that will jump forward and everything that's um, subsequent to it will also jump forward and stay in the same place uh, relative to the first file. So it means that any edits you've done in the past, uh, like afterwards, will, will still be in the correct place. So let's just undo that so we don't need that. Okay, so we're going to edit the start of it. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to just put a little fade in on it just so there's no pops and clicks. So if we grab the top of the file here, the top of the um, item, you'll see that the, the cursor changes 
to a, a little fade in symbol and we drag the end. Now let's go to the end of this file and we'll do the same thing. February 28. Okay, so there's the end of Bill's speech there. So we're going to split that and we're going to do the same thing. Okay. Now, what we need to do is we need to add a transition between this article and what will be the next article. So we've got, a, I've built a, a combination of a gap and a tone. Now, this will allow um, readers, uh, sorry, listeners to um, to skip quickly through the tracks to, you know, um, from track to track. And it also makes the gaps between the uh, between the articles consistent. So if we go, go to the utilities um, folder here, scroll back along, you can see that there's um, different uh, items for different things. Now the one that we're looking for today is the combo tone, this one here. Yeah. So I'm going to right click to highlight that or just click on it and I'm going to control C to copy it to the clipboard. Now if I go back to my track that I'm working on, if I click on it and I put and then I click on end paste, it will automatically paste this file onto the end of my um, article that I've just been working on. So if I quick listen to that. Very 28. So there's a bit of a, a funny edit thing going on here, but what we can do is because, so long as this is enabled, which is um, auto crossfade, make sure that is uh, turned on. If you click and you drag on the file that you've just dropped in there and you drag it over the end of the previous file, it will start to create a crossfade. Now, I can drag that out a little bit and drag that in, and then we should have a nice uh, tidy fade. Very 28. Okay, so there are our um, end gap and our gap tone that we want for the articles. So now that we've done that, we want to lock that in place and we don't want it to move again. So if we right click and rubber band around the file and we hit L for lock, um, or we can use uh, the menu. So if we right click rubber band and go to item settings, you can lock item. Okay, now let's zoom this track back down again. So zoom track. Um, we're going to go and grab another article. Okay, so now that we've got our first article in there, um, we want to get uh, our second article, ideally from a, a different reader to keep uh, keep things uh, interesting for the listeners. So we'll go down and I think this is uh, an article from Ian. Let's just have a quick listen to that. Questions are easy. I thought hunts for business roles. Yep, so same thing. We're going to click this and we're going to drag it up to the next track. Now, Ian can be reader number two. So let's zoom that track in, zoom that track, and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to uh, edit it nice and tight at the start there. So click on there, hit S to split, delete, make sure the ripple is on, it will jump forward automatically. Create a little fade in, uh, listen to that transition. From the classical times, it went. Okay, cool. And we're going to do the same thing again at the end. That piece is by wrist sitter. And if we go, if we click there, hit S to split, delete, and then we highlight the track and hit end paste because our um, our, our gap tone is still in the clipboard. Um, it will appear at the end of the file. So if we just click and drag it over the end of this file, then it should create a nice crossfade. So let's have a quick listen to that. And that piece is by wrist sitter. Okay, it's a little bit tight, I think. So let's we'll drag it out. We'll drag this a little bit longer, and then we'll drag this back in again. So there we go. And that piece is by wrist sitter. Okay, and we will right click, drag around both those files, and we'll lock them. Let's zoom that track down again. Uh, tra track. Let's go and get another reader. So um, I know that this is. I think this is Andrew down here. Let's have a quick listen. Did. Wearing PPP does. Yes. So we're going to click that and drag that. Andrew can be reader number three. Um, same thing again. If so long as the snap is enabled, it will automatically snap to the end of the previous article. I'm going to zoom this track up. 
Um, we can, it's already quite tight at the end there, but we can trim it a little bit. So if we click there, make sure ripple is enabled, split, select that, delete, it'll jump forward. Put in a little crossfade, so have a quick listen. Article from Glasgow Times. Um, we're going to listen, to, uh, check the end of it. Logo as an ink. Okay, that's very tight there. But what we're going to do is, if we just click on that, click the end paste again, and we're going to drag that in there. That should hopefully tighten up that, or uh, tidy up that um, uh, outro there. Glasgow Times logo as an ink. Okay, same thing again. Right click, rubber band around the two of them. Hit L for lock. Zoom the track down. And we're going to go back, and I think this is Margaret here. Let's have a quick listen. Made to protect their staff and customers. Yep. So click, drag up. Margaret can be reader number four. Again, with snap enabled, as you snapped that uh, previous article, zoom the track up. Let's tidy up the beginning. Next. Bit of noise there. So we're going to click there, hit S to split, delete, um, put in a little fade in. Nicola Sturgeon, we all. Okay, and the same at the end. Moving forward, back to normality. Okay. Click on the file, click end paste, drag the end over there, create the crossfade. Back to normality. Okay, and right click rubber bands, lock that file, zoom that track down. If you want to zoom all the tracks up and down, we can hit zoom vertical as well. And we're going to zoom horizontal to see how we're doing. So we can see that uh, we're almost filled up with for Tuesday, but we want to rotate the readers. So now that we've done a Bill, Ian, Andrew and Margaret, we're going to go back to Bill again. So this is another one of Bill's articles. Um, so drag it up there. So that should snap again. I'm going to zoom that track up. Um, trim the start of it. Neil. Okay, and we're going to split that. Make sure Ripple is enabled. Delete the start of it and create a crossfade. If we go down, we can see that there's the end of the previous article. Neil Lennon, urged. Okay. And go to the end again. Out. We'll want to get a regular game. Okay. Click on the end of the speech. S for split. Delete. Select. End paste. Drag. Get a regular game. Okay, zoom out a little bit. Rubber band around the whole lot. We're going to lock it. Okay. Now, we've overrun on Tuesday's um, time limit, as it were. But this doesn't really matter. Um, these markers are flexible. This is just a, as a general guide as to, you know, which days are which and, and how much you should put in of, of each day. But... What you can do is, if you hover over the end of the um, item and where the mouse changes, if you click there, the playhead will jump to that point. And if snap is enabled, you can use that to drag the marker. So that becomes your start point for Tuesday. So once you've done Monday, let's we're going to close Monday's folder. So we can close that up. Yeah, and if we click on the empty space at the bottom here, yeah. Now we're going to click on two here, yeah, because this is obviously marker number two. Now that means that when we import our files, they should all appear, should drop into um, this location. So if we click on this bottom file here, and again we go to insert. And we go to our working folder again, go to resources, and we're going to go to Tuesday. Now here are our Tuesday files, same thing. Select the first one, shift to click, select, select the end one, hit open. And separate tracks. It will import all of the files, and it will begin to normalize them as well. Okay, so these are Tuesday fi Tuesday's files imported. What we're going to do is we're going to drag them into a folder to keep them organized again. So click the first one, click, shift click for the last one, click and drag so it indents again. And we're going to call this Tuesday. Tuesday. 
Now, and we're going to drag it into this folder again, the import below folder. So click and drag on the um, the folder uh, track at the top there and drag it up until it is just above the, the Monday folder, but it's still inside the import below folder. And then we're going to mute all these so we don't he hear them all at the same time. So click on them, mute them all, and we can carry on as we were doing before. So if, for example, if Bill was last reader on Monday, um, as he was here, then ideally um, I'll be using somebody else for the next one on Tuesday. But the, the, the same process applies. I think um, uh, this week only Bill recorded on Tuesday, so I'm just going to have to use Bill again, which is, which is fine. So same thing, if I go to at the end of the previous article. He wants to be a number one and a killer game. Okay, so we're going to take Bill's article, uh, drag it up there, because he's obviously it's the same track because it's the same reader. Uh, I'm going to expand the track up, uh, zoom track, and we're going to trim this a bit. So make sure that ripple is enabled. Click the start of the speech, S for split, select, delete, and I'm going to put a little crossfade in, uh, sorry, fade in on that. So here we go. Broadcasters bring forward Aber And at the end of the article, same thing again. Match of the season. Of the season. Click there. S for split. Delete. Select. End paste. There's our gap tone again. Click and drag. Of the first competitive match of the season. Okay, and going to lock that L for lock again and let's just, let's just do one more um, but I know this is Bill but I'll, I'll you know just for illustration purposes so say this is another reader same thing again click drag and uh, make sure snap is enabled and um, zoom track next split delete intro Fade. Properties. Split. Delete. End paste. Click. Drag. Newer properties. Okay. Lock. Zoom back down. Or zoom vertical. So that's it. That That's the basic process for inserting the articles into the cast box. Um, you carry on uh, through the project uh, day by day until it's complete, it's, it's filled up, and then it's just a case of exporting it. So what I'll do is I'll carry on, I'll uh, I'll finish the edit, and I'll come back to you once I've done that and show you the exporting process and then the uploading. Okay, so I have finished the edit here. I've inserted the articles from each day and rotated through the readers uh, to give a bit of variety. Um, here are the folders below with uh, the remains of the files, the files I didn't use. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to finish up the end section here and export the whole thing. So because we've overrun a little bit, we need to move the um, outro music and a, a dialogue. So I'm going to right click and rubber band around the whole thing to select them all so they all move together. Um, I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to just hover over the end of this item here, click on it so I get um, um, the, the, the playhead moves up there, drop a marker there, and then right click around this. This uh, will usually be locked, so I'm just going to rubber band, unlock it, and then drag it out so that it snaps to the um, to the marker there. And we can just check the end of the last article. Written by Stuart Patterson. Um, for me, that comes a lot in a little bit quickly, so I'm just going to leave a bit of a gap there. Written by Stuart Patterson. And that was this week's Glasgow Times. Thanks for listening. Okay, so I'm just going to lock that in position and zoom out to the entire project. Um, and what we can do now is if we right click and rubber band round in fact we don't even have to do that we can just go control a which will select 
all the files in the project or if you want to rubber band around it you can also do the same thing so if we right click and drag and we go around all the files to select everything and then we hit time select now you can see our left and right markers have jumped to the end of the outro and if we hit the home button on our keyboard that will take us back to the start and just to make sure that the start is yep the end of the left marker is right at the beginning zoom up to the project extents again now all we've got to do is export it so same as before if we hit render and um, there's a preset built for it all settings Q, uh, CNR cast, cast box mp3 um, so uh, I'll go through settings again just in case uh, the template isn't installed on your computer so it's master mix time selection and um, set your destination now I'm going to put it in the same folder that I'm uh, same folder that I'm working in which is this one and I'll put it into complete cast box in there and the name for the um, the cast box I always use the same format so I've got uh, if you go to here we go into the folder, into the working folder, there's a naming protocol here. So I just copy and paste that into here. And this is from the 20th to the 24th. So let's make that 20th to 24th. This is July, July 2020. Um, the sample rate should be 44.1. Um, it should be mono again, full speed offline. Make sure this is set to extreme, MP3, constant bit rate, maximum quality, and 320 kps again. And again, this will take a while to, to render out. Um, so again you could do emails or, or something else instead um, I'll set this going and I'll come back to you once it's done okay now that the box is finished rendering out all we've got to do is check it uh, before we upload it so what I like to do is re-import it back into a, 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 an instance of Reaper just so I can just quickly skim through it so I'm going to uh, Go to my export, which is here. I'm going to create an object in Reaper. Um, you can press Control, Alt, and N to open up a new project tab. And if we go to the file, we we'll just click and drag it in. We can use our um, zoom track again to zoom out. Uh, we're going to get rid of the grid as well. And it takes a minute to, to draw the file. Let's draw the waveform. Okay, so let's have a quick listen at the start. I'll just turn this down a little bit because it'll be quite loud. Let's take it minus 15. You're listening to the Glasgow Times, normally recorded by volunteers at the Bishop Briggs Media Centre. Cut. Oh. This week's articles. SPFL, con SPFL confirm the SP and you can quite clearly see the gaps between the articles here the, the little tone 28 Stephen Gerrard hopeful of adding striker Celtic chief Peter Lowell end of July 2020 And I can quickly skim through and see. Suspect communications. Spill drum chapel. Everything looks good. Um, there's no big uh, chunks missing out of the middle of it. And we can check the outro as well. And by Stuart Patterson. Patterson. And that was this week's Glasgow Times. Thanks for listening. Okay, now that that's been checked, that is as that's ready to upload. So I'm just going to close this project. Don't need to save it, and we can 
Um, save this project as well, just in case we need it. And we'll go to the upload site for the cast box. So now that we're on the cast box, uh, if we go to Q and Review, uh, we go to go to Creator Studio, and we're going to upload. We go and we just drag and drop this in here. And again, the same as before with the uh, the naming schedule for for the file itself. There's also a naming schedule for the uh, description as well. So this is from the twenty fourth. Sorry, this is the twentieth. Sorry, twenty twentieth. July 2020 and um, we choose the channel um, Glasgow Times and obviously once that's uploaded uh, we can browse to the page and just check that everything is uh, is working fine and that's it that's uh, the entire process of um, editing the cast box from the raw files right the way through to uploading it onto the cast box website. Uh, thanks for listening. Thank you.